They say there is an incredibly fine line between genius and insanity. And I have found a product that exemplifies that perfectly. You might be thinking, Tom, what the hell is that incredibly piece of cheap plastic in your hand? But hear me out. This is a laptop steering wheel tray. I mean, look at that. It's genius. It's not going anywhere. And when you're busy in the cab, it's got two sides. One side for your laptop, one side for your lunch, and your coffee. Look at that. And as it so happens, I actually have a little bit of lunch here with me. A bit of a light lunch. Let's give this a go. A cake bar of sorts. I mean, it's genius, isn't it? Genius. It even catches the crumbs, you know, so the crumbs don't fall in the chair, in my lap. It's quite nice. Fibre one, 90 calorie. Recommend that. In fact, it's only 84 calories, even better. It just feels like something that's been sat in a warehouse since, you know, the late 90s. It's that kind of cheap plastic that you just can't make anymore. Cheaper than, I don't know, school dinner trays or something like that. It is just naff, absolutely naff. Someone who probably patented the idea, thought it was gonna make him a millionaire, and then realized that it was so incredibly daft and stupid. But is it daft and stupid? As a cab driver, you spend a lot of time sat within your cab. People remark upon the metaphor that it is your office. This is my office. You know, I spend up to nine hours, 10 hours a day here on a given shift. And as a result, you know, there's certain sacrifices or compromises you have to take. I frequently eat my lunch in the cab. Yes, you can sort of eat it over your lap, but you can get crumbs and everything everywhere. You can also eat it like this on the piss. A little bit of a twist going on, but that's not really that comfortable having to do that and eat in this weird fashion, especially if you've got something involving cutlery. It just doesn't work. I've known that these kind of gadgets and bolt-on things have existed for a while. I used to work within a car auto spares place, and this was the sort of tut that was just in the bargain bin for like a pound or whatever. But come full circle, in the cab, I noticed that I might have a need for this. This is on Amazon for about £12. The link is in the description if you're interested. But I still don't know if this is incredibly daft or the most genius thing ever. Maybe it's partially me accepting that if I have the need for something like this, I spend too much time in the cab, but it works. Obviously I'm a millennial, so I'm into all my tech, supposedly. So when I'm sat there on private jobs, I can get my laptop out, I can be editing videos for the YouTube channel. It's even got itself a pen holder. I mean, look at that. Like. Oh, it's, it doesn't even clip the pen, it just sits there. In case you want a pen handy. Oh, there it is. So I don't know if this is a good thing or not. It's good because, yeah, it does allow that level of comfort. I don't have to twist and put my laptop at this weird haphazard angle that's gonna throw my hips out of alignment and do my back in. But in the same token, having something like this just makes me feel like is there more to my life than just spending it sat in this cab? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Have you got a gadget like this in your vehicle? I want to know if there's anything that enhances your driving or maybe your work within whatever vehicle you use. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.